Colorado pheasant and quail hunters have plenty to be excited about this year when the season opens statewide November 11th. Pheasant and quail populations have increased dramatically, setting the stage for what could be a very good season for upland hunters. Thanks to favorable nesting and brood conditions, pheasant populations are now at a four-year high throughout the state. Quail populations have also soared to the highest numbers Colorado has seen in more than a decade. We're pretty positive about what hunters should find in the fields uh, in terms of upland game birds this year. Uh, pheasant populations look to be pretty good, uh, at least as good as last year, if not a little bit better. And uh, when we get to talking about quail, um, things are very positive for quail, particularly in the southeast region. Hunters should see the greatest numbers of pheasants in northeast Colorado in Yuma, Phillips, Sedgwick, Logan, and Kit Carson counties. Pheasant populations in the southeast have also improved considerably. Hunters will find the largest numbers of birds in Baca County, but will see localized populations of pheasants throughout the entire region where good habitat is available. Bobwhites and scaled quail should be plentiful in 2017. The best scaled quail populations will be found in areas that have higher densities of chola cactus and sand sage rangeland. Bob whites are restricted to more specific habitats in Colorado and will be most numerous along sections of the Arkansas River and in extreme southeastern Baca County. Colorado's popular walk-in access program is again available to upland hunters this season. Approximately 180,000 acres of private land hunting access are enrolled in this year's program. In addition, Colorado Parks and Wildlife in partnership with landowners and Pheasants Forever, established the Corners for Conservation program to improve habitat for pheasants and other wildlife. Under this initiative, more than 200 corners are part of the walk-in access program this season. Corners for Conservation uh, was really an initiative that uh, CPW uh, started with our partners at Pheasants Forever and uh, some additional conservation groups uh, that were interested in uh, habitat conservation and habitat development. Um, it's real unique. Um, we're kind of coming at conservation from a couple of different angles. Um, one, this is all private land that we work on out here uh, with the Pheasant Habitat Improvement Program. So it's only natural um, to, to develop a program that, that really plays into what uh, landowners are interested in. And by doing so, um, you can do really great things for game species, but also uh, the non-game species, particularly the passerine birds. Uh, that use very similar habitat types. Um, to make it even better, um, all Corners for Conservation projects are also enrolled in the walk-in access. It's part of, the, part of the requirements that a landowner agrees to when we uh, enroll them in the program. Really, it's a win-win all the way around. Uh, we've put in 202 corners in two years, totaling about 1,650 acres, uh, which is about 2.6 square miles if they were all stacked together. Um, so a significant habitat development and when we see this thing up and running, uh, when the habitat's mature, it's gonna be some of the best stuff out there to, in terms of hunting. The 2017 Late Cropland Walk-In Atlas is available now and features detailed maps of all enrolled properties. For further information about Colorado's pheasant season, pick up a copy of the 2017 Small Game Brochure. Brochures and walk-in atlases are available at statewide license agents, parks and wildlife offices, and online on the CPW website. Colorado Parks and Wildlife thanks you for hunting Colorado and encourages you to have a safe and successful hunting season. <laughs>